Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a recording for the Daily Reminder Network. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He has made us Muslims indeed. Have you ever heard people say, you're a good Muslim, you're not supposed to be driving a good car. You're a good Muslim, how could you go on holiday? You're a good Muslim, why do you have the latest technology? Why do you have the latest phone and so on? Have you heard people say that? Well, today I'm here to clarify this. As a good Muslim, you can make use of everything on earth that Allah has blessed you with. For as long as you have earned halal, for as long as you have earned that which is permissible, for as long as you are spending it on that which is permissible, and for as long as what you have purchased or what you are enjoying is permissible within the limits of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and there is nothing to have prohibited it, remember it is permissible. It was created for you to enjoy. Yes, to enjoy. Thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He's giving you a chance to enjoy that. You have your wife, perhaps you have children, brothers and sisters, depending on who you are. You thank Allah, we enjoy their company, we enjoy them. And at the same time, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this. You are allowed to have beautiful, lovely, delicious meals, food that is exotic, expensive food as well. If you can afford it, yes. But by all means, do not be wasteful. By all means, do not be extravagant. By all means, remember to reach out to those who don't have. So remember this, it's a gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for you. And it is a test for you. You can afford a lovely home. At least reach out to those who don't have a home at all. Try and help them with a little bit of rent sometimes. Perhaps buy a little bit of a home maybe. Sometimes their houses might be very, very cheap. You might want to house someone far off on the globe in a third world country. If you're a wealthy person and you're living in a beautiful house, why don't you house another four or five people in homes that will be very, very cheap somewhere in a country that people are struggling in. And this would be a gift of Allah and a preparation for your paradise. So it's not wrong to live in a luscious home, mashallah, luxury, luxurious vehicle and everything else to make use of. No, it's not wrong to do that. But it is wrong to forget the rest of humanity, to think that this is you and you alone, to not relate it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is what is wrong. So we need to relate everything to Allah. We need to reach out to those who do not have. We need to constantly thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for what He's blessed us with. And we need to prepare ourselves for the day when all these things in the world will be of no use. It does not depend on what you have. It depends on how you used what you had. When you had a chance in the world, when Allah blessed you. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests everyone in different ways. Some are tested with wealth. Some are tested with materialistic items. They are so available for you. They are at your disposal. How did you run behind technology? Have you run behind your salah and your prayer in a similar way or in a better way? If so, Alhamdulillah, you will be successful. But if you ran behind technology in a way that earned the wrath and the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then obviously you've lost. But don't worry, it's not too late yet. You can always make amends. Turn to Allah, repent to Allah, change your ways and habits, start humbling yourself, start understanding the duties unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fulfill your prayer, reach out to others, respect the rest of humanity and make a change. And by this change, inshallah, not only will you be enjoying what Allah's blessed you with, but you will also be preparing for the hereafter in a beautiful way. May Allah grant us all Jannah. Wa sallallahu wa sallama ala nabina Muhammad. Donate now. Go to www.thedailyreminder.org slash donate and stay updated by joining our network's social links.